What's up guys, Dennis Black is here and today I'm gonna tell you 10 tips for mobile photography and show you how to turn photos like this into something like this. Let's get it started. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm a Sydney-based photographer and videographer and my first ever camera was actually my mobile phone camera. That's why I've decided to make my first YouTube tutorial particularly on this topic. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. Tip number one is to focus on one subject. Many of the best photos include just one interesting subject. So when taking a photo one, just spend some extra time setting up the shot. I know some photographers say that the subject shouldn't fill the entire frame and that two thirds of the photo should be negative space. That helps the subject stand out even more. But make sure you tap the screen on your smartphone to focus the camera on the subject. That will help to ensure that it's focused and the lighting is optimized. In order to get sharp and focused photo, you need to make sure that your camera lens is actually clean. And that's my second tip to clean your camera lens. I know some of you might think like, dude, are you serious? And yes, I am serious. I've seen so many people's photos that were blurry or unfocused and they were thinking that their smartphone camera are not good enough or something like that. But in reality their lens was simply dirty or had a fingerprint on it. Because most of the times your phone sits in your pocket and collecting all of the dust there. So just spend 5 seconds of your time and simply clean your lens before you take in the photo and you will see the difference. Tip number 3 is to set your exposure manually. Have you noticed before that some of your photos turn out too bright or too dark? That's what automatic exposure usually does to your photos, but it doesn't have to be this way. What you need to do is simply adjust your exposure manually before you take the photo. Start by tapping and holding to set the focus. Then swipe up to make the image brighter or swipe down to make it darker. Try to ensure that the most important parts of the scene are exposed right. When they expose correctly, they will have plenty of color and detail. Tip number four is to activate a grid lines. One of the easiest and best ways to improve your mobile photos is to turn on the camera grid lines. Your phone camera grid allows you to compose your photos using the rule of thirds. Some of you might ask, what the heck is rule of thirds? So in short, the rule states that you should position the most important elements off-center rather than in the middle of the frame. This creates more balanced and natural compositions. Compositions that are engaging and pleasing to the eye. So make sure you switch on this feature on your phone and use it to help you decide where to position the most important part of the scene. You can also use the grid lines to make sure that the horizon is perfectly level. Tip number 5 is do not zoom in. So every time when you are trying to zoom in using your phone camera, you are losing a lot of quality and the picture becomes quite grainy and pixelated. The lens on a phone camera is quite small, so do not expect a lot from it. If you do need to capture your subject closer, just do a couple of steps forward and come closer to the subject if possible, otherwise just use a crop tool in post-production. That way you will not compromise quality and it's much easier to play around or optimize a larger image. Another solution of this problem can be getting an external mobile camera lens that you attach on top of your smartphone's original camera. There are actually several out there, from telephoto lenses that allows you to capture high-quality zoomed-in shots to wide-angle fish-eye lenses that will bring an entirely new quality and perspective to your photos. So the tip number six is be creative and experiment with the angles. Most of the people take the photos from the chest height while standing, but you will get far more interesting photos shooting from a different perspective. Taking photos from a unique, unexpected angle can make them more interesting. It tends to create an illusion of depth or height with the subject. Try taking a photo directly upward and play with the sky as a negative space, like on these photos that I took for example. Or maybe try to shoot from a low angle. Shooting from a low perspective is great for making foreground subjects loom large in your photos. Tip number 7 is to use natural light. It's actually quite hard to find really good smartphone photo that was taken with the flash. Most of the times they make a photo look overexposed and making human subjects look washed out. Take advantage of the sources of natural light you can find, even after dark. This gives you a chance to play with shadows or create a silhouette using the other ambient sources of light, like traffic or surrounding buildings. Once you've taken the photo, play with the exposure tool in the photo editing app to see if you can make the image slightly brighter without making it too grainy. Tip number 8 is to use leading lines. Have you seen in some photos there is a line that draws viewer's eye towards a certain part of the frame? Those are called leading lines. Leading lines are the lines that lead from foreground to the background of the scene. A leading line could be a path, a road, a river or just a railway line. Leading lines are great for creating a sense of depth in an image and can make your photo look purposely designed. 
To ensure the leading line creates a sense of depth in your photo, frame the shot so the line starts in the foreground. The line should either lead into the distance or towards your subject. This is such a simple composition technique, but it will have a huge impact on your mobile photography. So whenever you're out shooting, look for leading lines. Then use them to create incredible depths in your pictures. Tip number 9 is to simply take more photos. I've seen so many people who spend quite a lot of time just to take one single photo and then they spend another 5 minutes to show this photo to the person and talk about what's good, what is not. If you want to save your time and to get more content in the same time, try to take a photo every 1 or 2 seconds while the subject is moving, talking to you or laughing. Trust me, these particular photos turn out way better than the ones you were prepared for so long because they look more natural, they don't look too posed and it feels like you caught them in a moment. Another tip here is to use burst mode, especially if you want to capture some action shots and don't want to miss the right moment. For this you just need to press and hold a shutter button and your camera will take around 10 photos per second until you release your finger. In this case you should have at least one photo with your subject in the perfect position or pose. And the last tip here is actually do not be afraid to edit. So when you finally got that perfect shot and want to make it look even better, a lot of people are using Instagram app to do so and that's totally fine. But if you really want to have a full editing control over your picture, I recommend to use additional mobile apps like Snapseed, VC Core, Lightroom and others. All of these apps got a big variety of editing tools that you can use to improve your photo and make it look stand out. So that was my 10 basic tips for mobile photography that you should definitely try and you will see the difference. If you guys know any other useful tips for mobile photography or you think that I've missed something, just comment down below your tip so that everyone can see it and use it too. I hope you guys find this video useful and if you do, please like and subscribe to this channel to see more awesome content in the future. Peace for everyone.